Beshem Hashem Nasev Nasliach. I'll be studying Halachot Pesach from Sefer Yakud Yosef, written by Harab Ishaq Yosef Shalita. Kisur Shurchan Aruch Yakud Yosef. That's Halachot Pesach Siman. The Amirat Yodov Nisan. So, Shualim be Halachot Pesach Kodem le Pesach Shurushim Yom. One needs to start study the Halakhot of Pesach, asking questions about Halakhot of Pesach 30 days before the actual Chag Pesach. Ulam ends the Chiyuv Gamur, but this is not the this is not so obligatory. Umutal lechol tamit chacham lehamshich belimudo bemagom shelibu chafes. However, each uh, Torah scholar could choose where his heart desires what to learn. If he's in the middle of a learning uh, discussion of halakhot, something else, he does not have to interrupt that uh, in order to learn halakhot uh, Pesach. And in the end, So this is in order to get prepared to answer the questions of these halakhot. However, those who work for the Shahal, for the community, they need to be aware of these halakhot. So therefore, for them, it's more of the obligation to review this halakhot to be able to answer the questions of the uh, community, of the people. And to inform them of the what proper, uh, you know, root in uh, Yahadut, in, uh, in Judaism, as the halakha states they should take. And what they should do. Whether it is regarding to making kasher, the kelim of the agala, or afiat, or baking matzot, or removing and destroying chametz. Because these three concepts, categories are the main of the discussions of people and uh, what you need to explain to them. As we study in the Masachat Megillah, every Chag we need to uh, talk about the in your name of the concepts of that Chag. At Chag Pesach Pesach, Sukkot Sukkot, at Shavuot Shavuot. Shenema Vaidaber Moshe Made Hashem El Ben Israel, as the Pasuk says that Hashem, that Moshe spoke to, Moshe spoke to Ben Israel regarding to the Moade Hashem. Vaidaber Beito Mato, and everything in its appropriate time is uh, is better to be mentioned. The whole month of Nisan, we do not say we do Tachanun. We do Omrim, we do Tachanun. There is no uh, studying of the repentance of our Vidu and Tachanun. Because the whole month is considered a joyful and happy month for the um, nation of Israel as we know what happened in past and what will happen in future that uh, the you know our rabbis teach us that in future the Kodesh Nisan also will be a very opportune time for coming of the Mashiach Right, and as we know, and that the month of Nisan, Mishkan was erected. V'shenaim asar nesiyei shivtei Israel hikribu et korbanam 
לחנוכת המזבח במשך שניים עשר יום and during the first 12 days of the חודש ניסן, month of ניסן, נשיאי ישראל, all the heads of the tribes of בני ישראל, they brought their gifts for the חנוכת הבית, for the inaugurations of of the מזבח, סורי, חנוכת המזבח, נשיאי אחד היום, every day, one of the נשיאים, שבט אב ראובן, שבט אב יששכר, and so forth, וכל אחד מהנשיאים היה עושה יום טוב ביום, יחזיבו לחנוכת המזבח. And whichever day they brought those gifts, it was a, they made it to be a יום טוב for them, it was such a joyful occasion. ולמחרת, שהוא יום י"ג בניסן היה יום אסרו חג שלהם, אסרו חג שלהם. And the day after uh, all those קורבנות were brought, on the 13th, they made אסרו חג, they made a party, and ביום י"ד בניסן הוא ערב ערב פסח, so י"ד comes out to be ערב פסח. Uh, so ערב פסח also we, we, it's a joyful time, we don't say תחנון, נו וידוי, ולאחר מכאן שבעת ימי הפסח, and then there is seven days of פסח, ימים טובים ומקראי קודש, all of the ימים טובים, joyful time that they are considered very קודש, holy, ויום כ"ב בניסן הוא איסור חג של הפסח, and the 22nd of the month of ניסן, after פסח is called איסור חג, so that's also a happy occasion. ובעניין בית המקדש שלישי שייבנה במהרה בימינו יהיה ביום טוב של פסח. So as our rabbi teach us that uh, even the third בית המקדש uh, will be will happen on, 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 you know, on the חודש ניסן perhaps even uh, would be a יום טוב פסח כי בניסן ניגלו ובניסן עתידים להיגאל. עתידים, right, that as we say that Chag Pesach has the opportune time for us that every year Hashem would redeem us from boundaries of servitude, that's the servitude of being among the nations of the Olam. Sheiba Nabi Merab Yamenu that it should be built in our times, Yehiba Yom Pesho, yeah. Okay, Moshe Katub, Kemei Setcha Meres Misaim Asenu Niflaot. That just when we uh, exited from uh, Misraim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will also do the same Niflaot, much more of the miracles for us in the times of Mashiach. Ve'chanukat Beit HaMikdash she'tiyye nimshechet shiv'at yamim she'tchayyem le'achar ha'pesach. And the Chanukat Beit HaMikdash continued uh, seven days after Pesach כי אין מערבים שמחה בשמחה because we do not add the, we don't mix two שמחות so right after פסח there was still שמחה אב inauguration of מזבח right and also the חנוכת בית המקדש נמצא שכל ימי חודש ניסן so we see that the whole month of ניסן מוחלשים לימי שמחה וששון לישראל, that are set aside for happy and uh, making celebrations for עם ישראל. לכן אין ראוי לומר וידוי ותחנונים ונפילת אפיים בימי אלו. Therefore it's not proper to say uh, וידוי ותחנונים on these days. מנהג טוב הוא לגרות בכל יום החול uh, מראש חודש, החול מראש חודש ניסן פרשת הנשיא. It is a proper custom to say uh, the parashat nasi of the every day of the, um, the first 12 days of Nisan, what they brought. And we say that Nisan is a proper And on the 13th, we read all of them. Right? We read. Uh, we read the, from the beginning of the parasha of Bahalotcha till Al Ken Al Ad Ken Asa Et Hamenura. Veish Noagim Nigrot Pesukim Elu Mitoch Sefer Torah. There are those who have the custom 
to even read these Pesukim from Akshua Sefer Torah without Bracha. Aval minhagenu ligrotam mitoch achumash. But our minhag is to read it from Chumash. And ligzor tanit sibur b'chol yemei chodesh nisan. Alken sara shelotavo. Alkol sara shelotavo. Uh, rabbis would not make a decree of the public fast uh, during the days of uh, month of Nisan, right? Because you know uh, whatever it is, and even if there is a sara going on, we don't do it. Our tanid yachid mutar late and not be Nisan, but uh, uh, individual fast and Nisan is permissible. Chus menos chodesh Nisan, except. On uh, the Rosh Chodesh of Nisan, the first day of the month of Nisan, Veshivad Yemei Chag Pesach, and the seven, day, seven days of uh, Passover, Betov Lachmi Shalolit, and not Gam Beyom Isru Chag. And also, one should be strict not to fast on uh, Isru Chag, which is the day after Pesach. Shehu Lemachalal Pesach, Alke Al Pizde. Pashat Amin Hak, Leitanot Bimei Nisan, Tanit Shel Yom, Av Khuda Shel Aviv Or Imo, Av Alpi Shein, Tanit Zechiu, Vrach Min Hak Tov. So, but based on this, if somebody has the Min Hak to fast on the day of the Petira, of his, uh, the day that his father or mother passed away, right, he's allowed to, right? Vechen, Edut, Shenahagu bechus laaris, sheit chanen or hal hachla mit anim biyom chupatam. Also, those chatanim, those those bride and grooms, right? That they have the minhag, that they fast on the day of their marriage. Shaim leit anot taanit zev beyemei nisan. They are also allowed to. Fast on the days of Nisan. Ula min hak asefaradim veedut amizach veeres Israel ubarasot ubarasot hamarav shein hachatan veakala mit anim kilal veayom chupatam. But the custom of sefaradim in Israel and elsewhere is that they do not fast on the day of their marriage. Sheyom tov shelahem hu because it's considered. A Yom Tov of them, and just like one does not fast on Yom Tov, right? Uh, so it's a Yom Tov for Chatan Kala, no fasting, right? Yeah. This is just for this the month. The Anlish and one should not change this minhag. Excuse me. Just on this month, yeah. I mean, just on the month of Nisa. No, it's uh, general speaking, as far the Chatan Kala should not fast on the day of marriage. It's considered their uh, their. Yom Tov. Anyways, nowadays we are very, we are much weaker than the past generations. About that. Right? Yeah, so it's Sephardim don't. And Loma Mizmo, so some people go half a day. Some people go half a day. Some people try to do Tanit Dibur. Tanit Dibur is actually more rewarding than um, uh, just uh, not talking. Uh, is more rewarding than. Um, not eating or not drinking because imagine all that lashon haraz and uh, you know chas uh, v'shalom nibulpe and whatever that a person might come to say will be avoided because he's not saying he's not talking at all, right? Um, yeah. And lo mar mizmo yanchah Hashem biyom sara betefilah shacharit biyo bechol yeme chodesh nisan. We don't say the mizmo of yanchah Hashem biyom sara the whole month of nisan. Vechen en lo mar mizmo tefilah le David ate v'Hashem zachar neni choil v'neimar bo biyom sara sarati echra echa. So and also that other mizmo of tefilah le David, we don't say it because there is the mention of sara, uh, so you know sorrows. Right, that we call to Hashem when we have sorrows. We don't want to remind of uh, any sorrows. Ve'en la'achzir yom sara b'mei nisan shehem yeme ge'ula v'simcha le'Israel. Yes, so we do not mention of this 
because it's the days of happiness for all the Yehudim. Hamin hak lo mar mizmon ne toda be pesuche de zimra shel shacharit be chol yom chodesh nisan. Vafilu beere pesach be chol hamoet shel pesach chus shabbatot ve yomim tovim. So our min hak is to say the mizmon ne toda in the pesuche de zimra ab shacharit. Uh, on the whole month of Nisan, even on Erev Pesach and Chol Hamoed, right? the only time that we don't say Mizmor the Torah, it's by Shabbatot v'Yamim Tovim, right? No Hagim Shelo Lomar Sit Chad Chab Betefidat Min Chab Shabbat Bechol Chodesh Nisan. Our minhag is not to say Sit Chad which we say on Mincha of Shabbat the whole month of Nisan. שכול, ש, שכול שעים היה יום חול, לא היה בו וידוי. Because, you know, it's, it's, if it's like a יום טוב פרס, we don't say וידוי, also אין עומרים במנחה שתחתך, ונבר the day after, or the, on the day, actual day, is a happy occasion, we don't say שתחתך. ערב, מצווה על כל אחד ליתן דין, I'm sorry, מצווה. על כל איכה ליתן דמי קמחה טפיסחה. It is a מצווה on every individual, on every יהודי to give, uh, uh, set aside money, קמחה טפיסחה, like the money of the, uh, of the matzah, of the uh, preparations, uh, uh, buying the needs of uh, Pesach um, to, the, to the poor people, so one should give it. הנגבים על ידי גבאי סדרה שבכל מרום מרום that every place the גבאי סדרה those who collect in the shuls they go and they ask from people to donate for the poor that they should also have you know the Pesach feast ולתרום כפי יכולתו עבור חלוקה לעניים לסורכי החג. Now everyone according to his, you know, everyone according to what he can give, should give to the needs, to the needy people of needs of Pesach. Now there is a wonderful, there is a wonderful Mordechi, one of the Mephashim on Masachet Pesachim that teaches us that a person could actually have, uh, you know, matzah, maror, Pesach, matzah, maror, and have all the things ready for the Pesach night, and he he could very well go through the whole Haggadah shel Pesach, but in the end he could he could be not yose, he could be not fulfilling his obligation. When would that be? That would be if a person knows that his neighbor or somebody else that is in a dire need and that he, he does not have matzah, he does not have wine for arba kosot, he does not have other means of having a kosher seder, uh, he doesn't have, and, he, and this guy, this family has in, in their power to give, to also provide to them, but would not give to them in such a situation, Hashem would consider for them as if they never did the mitzvah. Rosh Chodesh Nisan Shechal B'Shabbat Shemusim Shelosha Sifre Torah V'Haya Sorech להעלות עולים נוספים על חובת היום, סריכים לא מלחדיש גם אחר הגריה ספר תורה הראשון. So if ראש חודש ניסן פאז על שבת, we take out three ספר תורה and as it goes we need more people to be, to say the brachot, to be yose, to fulfill the obligation. Of uh, the obligation of the day to say brachot and the ספר תורה and every ספר תורה Sereichem Lama Kaddish, every Sefer Torah has its own Kaddish Vekivan, Sheyu Olim Nusfim Venim Shana Chobah Hayom Vubesach Hakol Yom Eru Shalosha Kaddishim So they end up say Shalosh Kaddishim, three times Kaddish Vekhen Amin Haag, and that's our Min Haag, that's our custom Okay, Halachod Birkat Ailanot 
Okay. So yeah, let's go. Shabbat Hagodos, Siman. Shabbat Shlifnei Apesach Nigra Shabbat Hagodol. Shabbat before Yom Tov Pesach is called Shabbat Hagodol. Mipine Hanes Shenasabo because of the great miracle that happened then um, before Pesach. Ki Pesach Sheis Ubo Nimistaim Chal Oz. Mm -hmm. Because that year, um, Pesach, that Bnei Israel got out of, of, of Egypt, fell on, uh, on, on uh, Thursday. And on Shabbat, the day of the day of the day of the day, Nisan Nisaru Rakhat Se Lebet Avot Esura Korvan Pesach. And therefore, um, on Shabbat, the Shabbat before, before the Shabbat, which was the, on the tenth day of Nisan, our forefathers, they, they had this, uh, they had this, um, what's it called? They had this, they took out the Se. They took out the sheep, mm -hmm. right? The Surah Korban Pesach, Keshe Asu, Israel Ken, it Kabesu, the Hore, Misraim, Esel Israel, Oshalim, Peshad Davar, Anulahem, Zevach, Pesach, Hula Hashem. So they went, the Egyptians went, Egyptians went to Jews, tell them, what is this sheep? What is the story about this? You know, they. The Egyptians used to worship sheep and goats. What are you, why are you uh, holding our uh, gods? So they told them this is going to become a sacrifice for Hashem. Shatid Leru called Bechore Israel, Bechore Misrael, and Misraim, sorry, Belachen is Tavinu Latet Midam Akorban, Al Shete, Amezuzot. So also they also informed them. That you know, the the firstborns of Egyptians will be will be uh, will be killed by Hashem, and that we need to put we need to slaughter these uh, these animals and put their blood by our doorposts. Al Hamashchof, the valley of Hamashchit and it it inu ninguf. Umiyad halachu habe chorot esel habutehem. So once these Egyptians, most of them, the first ones, heard about this, that they, they are going to be killed by, uh, by Almighty Hashem, they went to their fathers, right? They went to their fathers, Vesel, Paro, and also they went to Paro, Vedarshu, Eshlach, and Israel, and they requested that Eshalech, and Israel, please send the Jews away. Let them go. Right? Otherwise, you know, because of them, we will die. When it khallu besirob mukhlet ve az petukho be min khamaze le umaze. So there were, there was resistance by Paro, there was resistance by the palace, and fight broke out. Bechurim, of the Egyptians, Bechurim, the firstborns, with all those who, uh, who objected with this idea. When Hargu Rabim Mimis Rhyme and lots of Egyptians actually died on Shabbat Agadol. Ukemo Shanemal Lemake Misraim Behorehem Bebe Horehem. Kloman as the Pasuk says that there was a, a plague plague under like a big you know Probably a big revenge, not revenge, like big thing on their firstborns. Klomar shemistaim hochu al yede bechorehem ukesherau hamistrim ken hargu ish harvol nchom be Israel ubechoshol hashmin ularog el Israel chas v'shalom. So once they saw what came out of the Jews that they caused all of this balagan, all of this. Uh, Bilbul, then they wanted to go and kill Yehudim, the Jews. And our Almighty Hashem 
Hagen alayhem berov rachamav. Hashem protected them with uh, with His mercy. Vachla et mistaim betehaloim rabim omishonim ubitzurim gedulim al sheyu shenehem harod uma hem omich tadechem. So Hashem came upon them, brought upon them lots of uh, misfortunes, lots of uh, sarot, uh, hardship, uh, whether it was sickness, whether it was something to, uh, uh, to not allow them to, to bring any harm to the Jews. Ki Yom HaGadol who, because this was a wonderful day, a big day for Jews, Le Israel when it's all, Me'avdan, Le'chelion, Charus, Azul Shalom, that Hashem also saved all the Yehudim of the thoughts, the destructive thoughts of the Egyptians. Right? Haftarat b'shabbat zu v'alcha bet haftarat b'shabbat zu v'arval Hashem minchad Yehuda v'yushalayim ben k'shachal shabbat ha'kodol be'erev pesach u'ben k'shachal kodem l'kan Now the haftarat of the shabbat ha'kodol is v'arval Hashem minchad minchad Yehuda v'yushalayim whether if shabbat ha'kodol is erev pesach or before ואם יש מנהג ברור וקבוע באיזה בית כנסת שאין מפקירין אלו בפרשת השבוע, אין לשנות המנהג מפני המחלוכת. However, if the, in a shul the מנהג is different than this, uh, don't change it, uh, you know, it's not worth it, don't make a big fight with, uh, about this, it's not worth it. ובפרט שיש להם על מה שיסמכו. Now there is something to rely on for such a מנהג. הלכה ג' חובה קדושה להתאסף ברוב עם בבתי כנסיות. It is a holy obligation to gather uh, with, with all the Jews to, to, to ask them to come to the synagogue schools, the Shmoa, the Rashot, Rabbanei Israel, to hear the explanations of how to appropriately uh, observe Pesach, the Shabbat Hagadol. When they come is, they come on Shabbat Hagadol. The whole Magom Magom, every place they go to schools. Ve'al Rabbanim lehorot. Israel. Now it's an obligation on all the rabbis to explain how to uh, properly do the Haggadah Pesach, how to prepare for Pesach, uh, to inform them. וירחיבו את הדיבור גם באגדה, בסיפור יסוד מסוים. Also, to add to this about the stories of Pesach of the Haggadah, ופירושי Haggadah של יעל פסח, and explanations on the Haggadah of של פסח, להחזיר גבורות השם לאוזנו ונפנאות. To, you know, to bring back the the givurot, the might of Hashem to the to those who hear and of the miracles that Hashem did. And whoever does this for the Rabim, he is being Mezake Rabim, so the Zekhut, the merit of Rabim will protect him and uh, that will come comes to him. Ashenu ba'olam hazeh betov lo la'olam haba. Praiseworthy is he in this world and in the world to come. Ki shachal ere Pesach ve Shabbat halachadadet ven ere Pesach fazan Shabbat. Yesh na'akdim et dorasha Shabbat hagadol le Shabbat shilfana. Right? There are those who 
do it, do the explanation of Halachot of Pesach and all that, the Shabbat, the, uh, uh, the Shabbat prior to, prior to that. Yes, no, I give Lomar, Achar, Hatefila, is the Reu, Shabbat Hagodol Shalom, or Shabbat Hagodol Mevorah, that those who have the custom uh, that on uh, Shabbat Hagodol to actually wish each other Shabbat Hagodol Shalom, or to say Shabbat Hagodol Mevorah, or Minhag Yafeu. This is a good Minhag. Another was you reminding your friend. Today is Shabbat Hagadol. Go to shul. Learn the halachot. Do go listen uh, to the lectures. Halacha vav. Beyom tov. Asmo dorshim beinyane hachag beagada. And yom tov. Uh, we uh, the rabbis speak about the inyane of hag of hag pesach on the hagada. Yeah, yeah. And also it is appropriate for the rabbis to speak about Pesach and Cholamoid. Many, many people don't know what is really Cholamoid. There are lots of halachot involved with Cholamoid. So the, the days between the, the Yom Yom Tovim of the Pesach are very important. Yeah, what, what to wear, what to do, what not to do. Yeah. Yeah, next Iman, Zeman Bedigat Chames. Halacha Alef. Ani Zahel, Meman Shehu Chames, Bepesach Min. Hashamai, Messayim, Biado, Shelo, Yachta, Kol. Hashana. A person who is careful of even a little bit of Chames. Um, He's careful not to have. Not to have, exactly. Now, from Hashem, Hashem will send him a special blessing that he will, he will be immune from committing any sin, chet, unknowingly, during the whole year round. This is a big segula. We learn this from Arizal. Right? Right? At Kol Hadare Abayt, Bahaser Benihui Yesodi. Yesodi. And therefore, uh, on the night of Yudalet, Erev Pesach, uh, the 14th of uh, Nisan, our custom is to clean all the rooms, all the places, even the Haser. Even the yard very well. Kedesh Elo Yish Arshum Cheshash Chames Bishutam. In order that there should not be even um, any, you know, Cheshash of the fear, even a little bit of Chames in in their Reshut, in their property, be made a Pesach on the days of Pesach. Vechen Yesh Livdok Bechise Abigadim Obe. Yehud Bekise Big Day Ayeladim Obel Lukhote Bet Asefe Shalahem Pen Nisha Sham Hafez. Especially check all the pockets. Right? Some people say if you have uh, your pants uh, pocketing the, by the bottom, or the cuff. by the calf, right? Check it there too. Yeah. Right, check, check everywhere, especially the pockets of the kids. You always, uh, you will be surprised how much, you know, candies and goodies and yeah, re yeah, residues you find there. Right, yeah, that Adma, name, you know, all the children and grandchildren, and it's so sweet to see that. Ach en sarich libdogam shuv We don't need to check in the pockets. We, uh, right. we don't need to go back and check it with the candles. And once you already check it. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to do that uh, with the candle um, yeah, on the 14th of Nisan. But he's saying to lots of kind of dog, you don't need to check on the 14th of Nisan. But yet at the same time, he's also saying you have to clean. Yeah, you have to clean and check. On the 14th. Well, so that is not possible to do everything on one night. Right. So we started earlier. But, but the actual obligation goes perhaps on this night. 
בתחילת יל ארבע, בתחילת ליל ארבע עשה בניסן, פותחים את החמאס לאור הנר. In the beginning of the night of the 14th of Nisan, we check, we, we look around for Hamas with the light of a candle. The time of checking for Hamas is after the stars come out. When we say Seta Kochavim means three stars comes out. דהיינו כעשרים דקות וצ'יז, 20 מינוס אחרי שריית החמה, אפטר סונסט. So 20 מינוס אפטר סונסט, הוא קל כולל עשרת הכוכבים. ומי הוא בדיעבד, אם בא דרך החמש אחרי שריית, שריה קודם עשרת הכוכבים, יעשה ידי חובה האלה, ואין וויד פולפיל דה אבליגיישן אב בדירת חמץ, רייט אפטר סונסט. ונכון לחפש ולבדוק את החמש עוד זמן מה בליל י"ד בלא ברכה. Now if you already checked before י"ד, still, you know, checked for the חמש uh, on the 14th of, 14th of, uh, 14th of Nisan. And there was, if I understand this correctly, right, you need to double check and check um, even if you already said the bracha you want to go back you check without the bracha asul lecho seuda shel pat yoter mishiur kebetza kodem bedirat chames one is not allowed to have um, bread of the shiur kebetza kebetza I believe is 52 grams Uh, before Bedirat Hamas, before checking for the Hamas, on the night of uh, Yud Dalet, 14th of Nisan, 30, day, 30 minutes before, you, you stop eating of such Seuda. Vedin, Hauga, Kedin Apat, and this also applies to cookies, Uga, cake. cake. אבל לאכול פת על שיעור כבשה מותר, אבל one is allowed to have until כבשה, not more than כבשה, until כבשה. או פירות ויקרות מותר אפילו יותר מכבשה. Now, if you have fruits or vegetables, you could have even more than כבשה. That's not considered סעודה. וכן תבשיל אור איזה כבשה. As for rice and things of uh, similar to rice, or tea, or coffee, or tea, or coffee, mutar, it's mutar to have. That's okay. That's not called seuda. The whole idea is that once you have seuda, it you gets might you might forget. It gets you engaged with the with that, all that food, and uh, you know if you have the bread, you have something with it. So it's gonna make you to. Uh, No, it's going to make you heavy, you're not going to be able to do the mitzvah, you might fall asleep, you might forget, and all this, so forth. Now, now if a person is a uh, Gabbai Bet Knesset, he, he makes sure that everything is in order in uh, synagogues, he, that person is allowed to eat after... Uh, אחר הבדירה. מותר לו לאכול אחר הבדירה, אף על פי שעדיין לא בדק את החמץ שבבית כנסת. Now, after he did his own בדירה, he is allowed to eat, even though that he is obligated to go and check the בית הכנסת for חמץ, nevertheless he is allowed to eat, after that he goes and checks for the בית הכנסת. אסור להתחיל בשום מלאכה חצי שעה קודם זמן הבדירה. A person is not allowed to engage himself with any מלאכה. We need to understand what that, um, that constitutes. Um, so is the, we say, let's say, any type of work, perhaps engaging work, uh, before the time of בדירה comes. ואם התחיל במלאכה או באכילה, בהיתר, אף על פי שאין צריך להפסיק 
میکن مقام ونده شیم رسال افسیخ تابو علف برخه Now if somebody forgot he started doing something you know started doing some sort of work right engaging work right and you know or with eating right but what he did was with permission was permissible it wasn't such a big melacha if he stops that that is praiseworthy that is praiseworthy because he has more important things to do وخین اصول حتخیل للمرد مع مشعاش اگه از زمان به دیگه آشیب دو and also it is prohibited for a person to learn Torah from the time that uh, the actual زمان به دیگه of the checking of the, uh, uh, looking for خمس starts till that person looks for خمس and finishes the بدیگه everywhere right و عف می چیش لازم من قبوله و خال ارب المتورا. Even there is a person that every evening or every night he has set time to learn Torah with himself or others. He should not learn Torah until he does bedigah. بلاد بدیگه خمس لو یان مت آر شیف دو قط خمس. Don't learn till you do it. و می خیل لیل مود لفنی زمان عبی دیگه این رشل عفسیخ می تل می دو بعد ایف پیسن آی دی ستادد ایز نات علاود تو انترابت هیز لیننگ آی دی ستادد لیت ایم فینیشد و دن هیز کنه گو دو بات هیز سپس تو دو کل همه موار لیل هو دفغا بیاخید علومد بینا لبین اسما اوکی کورکشن آل دات ویش سید about learning only applies about somebody uh, the individual learning with himself if somebody is giving let's say shiur dafyomi or he's giving lecture to someone else it's mm -hmm. called rabim it's for the for more than one it's not only for himself if it's for one mm -hmm. or more people then uh, it's, it's a it different halakha he continues about shiur hanemar bedevarim bakhol یوم به عرب به علاقه او به دفع یومی از ویسید افشال دیگمو گم به لال یو دالت قودم نقیمو گم به لال یو دالت قودم به دیگه دوستو هی کنه کنتینیو دات لیننگ ایوی دی ایز بین دوینگ ایت فور هی ایز بینفیتنگ دیگه دی کومیونیتی ان پیپل اف حل پی شنیم شخ شعاو یوت ایون ایف ای کود تیک مور دن ان آور Even over more, mutar sharabim maskirim zed zed ve'en achush sheishachu livdok kesheilcho levatem. And yeah, these people, I mean those people who join this shurim, there is no fear that they might forget to check for hametz because for sure they will be reminded when they go home. و میکن مقام توب شیم سیام شیور یخریز و از اگر اشماش شامش تطفیم به شیور یه لخولی بدو خمس but it's good for the rabbi or uh, somebody there to make an announcement guys please go check به دقت خمس اول شکم برابیم لو ایتی رو الا پیسخه حالا خود و دافیومی و شیور میشنید بلی فیخفو پیلپول که نهای بازه به علی باتیم اول پیلپول لو شما یم شخو اخره پیلپول و ایش که خو لیو دو نو در ایز ا پرابلم ایف ای پرسن کامز این گوز این رو دف of Gemara, Pilpul, this Mepharashim, that Mepharashim, this explanation, that Gemara, and the Yeshivish style, then he might come to actually get really engaged with it, and he might forget. Yeah. So if you're learning the Afyomi or something that you do it with the Balabatim, with the businessman, something that is lighter than the actual uh, Yeshivish style learning, so this way people don't get dragged by it. Yeah. Yeah. 
והם יודעים בביור, בביר, בביר, בבירור שאין חשש ביטול תורה, הם יקדימו לבדוך את החמץ, וכגון שאחר בדירת חמץ יחזרו כל, הלומד, כל הלומדים לבית הכנסת או לבית המדרש כדי ללמוד את השיעור. עדיף שיבדקו קודם את החמץ, ואחר כך ילמדו תורה. Now if you know that you could bring these students back to Beit HaKneset, to Sinigai, to Beit Midrash, to continue their learning. So it's better that first they should go do the Bedirat Chames, and then they all gather together in Beit Midrash wherever they've been, been learning uh, like before. Al Chachet, Im Adayin Lo Yitpalel Be'arvit Ve'agi Azaman Ha'bedira Ya'akdim Ne'itpalel Arvit Ve'achar Chach Yibdu If he hasn't uh, prayed a davened arvit and the time of the dirat chames comes he should he should first he should first say tefillat arvit and after that he should go check why because we have a rule tadi v'shein or tadi tader koden that whenever there is something that is more common that comes first right arvit we do every night but the dirat chames is once a year ואם יש שם איש אחר, יאמרו לו שיזכירו לבדוק מיד אחת תפילת עונה. If there is a person who can remind him this guy who hasn't done ערבית, tell him please remind me after ערבית I go to בדירת חמש. מי שהיה בדרך לצורך פרנסתו, a person who is traveling for his... Um, you know, livelihood. livelihood. Yeah, he needs to make income. And he comes home on the night of 14th of Nisan. And he comes home on the night of He can check well. Mutal lishan me'at ul noach shinat aray. For him it's a lot that he goes, he takes a nap, he stays, rests a little bit, temporarily. V'yizahel l'echad m'b'nei b'yto sh'ayir oto l'achar chaseh sh'a l'ibdoch chamez. Right, but he should, he should ask one of the households to come wake him up like for example half an hour after he slept that he should come and do the mitzvah b'dirat chames v'gam yohal lishtot kos kafe he is also allowed to have kafe v'kayuse baze or things of such other drinks v'lit orer karawi that should wake him up v'l'gayem ha mitzvah k'alakha to fulfill the mitzvah accordingly Right. This is all regarding to the beginning of the night. But if he has so if I understand correctly, this is only uh, the beginning of the night. But if already two, three hours has passed from night and uh, he comes home right, and the, the, the household Members, they are already sleeping, so he's not allowed to go to sleep because then they have, there won't be anybody who can come and wake him up, right? right. So there's nobody there to wake him up. Okay, so we conclude um, this section, this siman. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue later. Baruch Adonai Amen.